What is up, Crop Dusters? JJ back here from Rump Your Bets with another free pick for it. This time it's going to be Major League Baseball for Tuesday, August the 10th. Game's going to be played between the Detroit Tigers and Baltimore Orioles. Current betting spread is O's minus 115, total 10 and a half. Uh, nice to wrap up, right? Our uh, fourth straight win from the Solovids. O's first five plus half run. Uh, minus 115 from Friday's video. Um, notice I said our fourth straight win, like as in R. We're a team, I mean, remember? Um, move these plays up to 25 and 12, plus 12.3U. Now, we get added pressure with this video play here, of course, as we go for another killing spree. Uh, that would be five in a row for those that played Halo back in the day. Losers. Uh, actually, no, the plus folks play Halo are not losers. Um, so anyway, I skipped that on a live video from Saturday uh, as I was doing a lot of like life running around. But um, we were back on Sunday, Joey and Holden, right? Uh, even Big T joined us as well. Um, our collective six plays totaled at 3-2-1 and one, plus some pennies of VIG. Uh, no qualms there for me. And, and Holden went 2-0 and o, uh, to stage all of us. So something you kind of hate to see, but you love to see. Uh, but regardless, kudos to him. It'll uh, be back to business as usual, though, this coming weekend with the live shows uh, for baseball. Let's um, well, not fret either, right? College football, NFL, right around the corner. These MLB shows will likely transition to CFB NFL, so uh, look, buckle up. Uh, anyway, let's uh, get right to the play here, right? Brass tacks, if you will. Uh, so I'm going to go against the grain here. Uh, well, actually against my grain. Um, give me Tiger's money line, minus 105, uh, which quite frankly, this way off to me. Uh, let's also not forget uh, that I've been a biased Orioles better this year. Uh, they've been good to me, especially with team totals, right? But this spot makes an awful lot of sense to fade the O's. First of all, you guys know how much I talk about how good the O's are versus lefties. Uh, it is quite the opposite versus righties. The O's are also dealing with some recent injuries. Urias, Mount, uh, Urias Us, Mount Castle, and Severino. Uh, some of the splits on this current O's lineup versus righties is woof levels. Uh, let's talk a bit, bit about Casey Mize as well. Sure, his advanced peripherals aren't the 3.57 his ERA currently shows, but he's had a good season thus far. And he's been quite unlucky, though. Um, sorry, quite lucky in, in various spots this season. Uh, his left on base percentage bound for some severe regression, um, but he doesn't walk a lot of guys, and, and he's tough around righties, and hey, maybe, look, maybe he's making better pitches from the stretch. Um, he'll see a lot of righties here, and, and, and the lefties he'll see will mostly be platoon guys after Mullins. Um, oh, you know, well, I guess Santander as well, but uh, either way, he'll get a healthy dose of right-handed bats, and as long as Mize limits the home run ball here, uh, this should prove to be a good start for him. On the other side, we, of course, have the Tigers. Um, Detroit isn't dealing with many injuries, uh, though, much like the O's are recently. Um, and I feel confident in saying we're going to have the better lineup here. This may sound like a surprise to some, but this Tiger team does have some pop in it. Uh, don't look now, but who has the ninth best batting average versus left-handed pitching in baseball? Yeah, it would be the Detroit Tigers. Speaking of lefties, they draw Keegan Aiken here. He's more of a glorified bullpen guy, uh, a quadruple A guy, if you will. Uh, the numbers aren't good, um, but look, he's not as bad as his surface ERA shows. I think 7, 6, 6, but... Um, there's a good amount that says progression is coming for the young kid, but still some red, red, red flags. Uh, walks too many guys, doesn't really strike anyone out. He's also conceding an OPS of over one with runners on base. Uh, this dude does not like pitching from the stretch, contrary to Casey Mize. I'd expect the Tigers to get guys on and only lead to more of these stressful situations for Aiken. Now, I want full game here because I respect the Tigers' bullpen more. Uh, so is Penn is like woof levels at times. And pair this with Aiken's lack of going deep into games and we have a shaky rotation spot for the O's. It's also worth noting the O's have lost five in a row. So, you know, if you're into that, it seems not exactly loving the wins right now. Uh, Tigers have some respectable arms at the back of their pen. Um, so even with a lead late, um, I'd like my chances, you know, more for them to hold it. Also, if Aiken does outpitch Mize here, pens may make it up on the Tigers' end. Um, overall, I feel I get the better lineup here, the better starting arm, the better bullpen. All for minus 105. Uh, easy play for me. And look, may the odds be ever in our favor. I want to thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed, thumbs up. Create some fake accounts more. Thumbs up. If you did not enjoy, I'll put a couple of your genitals strapped to a car battery. As always, drop comments below your thoughts on the play. Let me know also who you're betting for tomorrow's slate or tonight's slate by anytime you watch. You know, the comment section is always warm water. You know, dive on in. Don't be shy either. Nobody likes quiet stalkers. Um, I also always get back to you guys. I'll have content lined up all week. Baseball, PGA, tennis. Be sure to check it all out. Joey, have you covered the next few nights in bases. I'll be back tomorrow with PGA with DFS crew and uh, Wednesday tennis with spread. Thursday night, again, I'll be back with bases for Friday. Until then, be sure to gamble responsibly. Stay safe, folks, and thanks again for watching.